questioning whether or not your marriage is over. I know it's a really, really painful place, but after working with hundreds of women who are in the same boat, I can tell you that there are four really common signs that you need to get out of your marriage. The first really important sign is that you're falling into an energy depression rather than energy expansion. Now let me explain this a little bit more in detail. What basically happens here is if you're finding that in your marriage right now, all of your interactions, the environment, the way he treats you on a regular basis, if you're finding that that behavior and all of that energy that's going around in the marriage is dragging you down and making you feel emotions of sadness and rejection and inadequacy and failure and various other negative emotions and you're feeling that all the time and you're not having the energy to be able to get up and go and do the things that you need to do and you may even look back on the last say 10 15 20 years and go who am i like you feel like you've lost yourself if you're finding that that is where you're at right now you are falling into an energy depression whereas if we're in a place where you know we're happy and we're joyful and there's humor and laughter and light and so on in the marriage and you're loving being in that environment your energy is going to expand from there you're going to do the things that you want to do you're going to find more zest for life you're going to find more joy ultimately and that's a far better experience than if we're falling into this energy depression all the time now look there are moments we will find ourselves in lower states that's part of being human but we've got to look at the overall experience and if we're finding the majority of the time that we are always dragged down then we are definitely falling into energy depressions and the environment that we're in in terms of the way in which your husband is treating you on a regular and continuous basis is often a sign that you need to get out the second sign that you might see is that he is regularly trying to pick fights with you to criticize and effectively make it that you're the problem on a regular basis and by doing that what it's doing is it's giving him the permission to walk away and what happens is a lot of guys who are potentially on the outer in a relationship what they'll do is because on the inside they don't want to feel like they're the ones that have actually let the relationship or the marriage go they need a justification in their own mind but in their actual brain they've, they've already partially checked out anyway but they don't want to actually have the tough conversation they don't have the courage to be able to make those decisions in a centered and grounded way so what do they do well they will criticize they will get angry they will make constant digs at you to effectively make it like you're the problem that you're the issue and from there because in his mind you're always the issue then that provides a certain justification to go off and do the things that he needs to do and if that means he wants to go and be with someone else or go and spend time with his buddies or whatever it may be he's effectively created a justification in his mind that he can go off and do those things and it's not that he's just a bad person or that he's acting in ways that are of low integrity this is a very common pattern you have to be mindful of so if you're seeing this on a consistent basis be mindful of it and recognize that this potentially could lead to a sign that you may need to walk away from this situation because he's already got almost two feet out the door thirdly there is a complete misalignment of values now i'm a big believer that to create a really high quality marriage you've got to be completely aligned with your fundamental values you know one person who may be really passionate about wanting to have beautiful relationships with their friends and their family and so on and the other person not having any interest in it is going to cause some potential real problems now i know this from experience i mean even in my one of my past relationships that was something that was really really important to me but for my partner it wasn't and it's not that you know she was a bad person or anything like that it's just we weren't aligned and so when it came to making decisions about things there was never a, a proper joint decision making process because our intentions were completely different with things and what i found was you know if my parents did something really nice for us or my friends came over there was never really any intent to try and make them feel welcome or you know to make them feel like they were at home it really didn't matter whereas for me it was extremely important 
And so constantly in my mind, I'm questioning this relationship. I'm questioning whether this is actually going to stand the test of time. Now, this is just a simple example that I'm giving you. And why it's important is because everyone's got their own unique experiences. So you need to be clear on what are your values, what are his values, and are you aligned? You know, is this something that in 20 years time, you're going to basically stand the test of time? See, I know with my wife, me and my wife are so aligned on the example that I gave before that, you know, all of our decision making, we are, we've, we're so fundamentally connected, we're so in alignment with where we want to go with any major or minor decisions in life that it means that we love hanging out with each other and we find that we continue to grow as a couple because of that alignment in terms of our values and if we think about minor things you might find that you know you are interested in I don't know a particular type of music and he's interested in something else it's not really that big a deal because when the deeper values are in alignment those things don't really matter and that's where you really want to get to. So if you're finding that you're completely out of alignment on the major values, then once again, that may be a sign that your marriage is potentially over. And the final sign is that the relationship or the marriage is not for your highest good mentally and emotionally. One of the things I notice a lot is that often a relationship is a reflection of our own internal self. So for example, if you were brought up in a really tough environment and you had huge wounds of feeling like you're not good enough, not worthy of love, you've got no confidence and so on, the chances are that you probably have drawn in a man that brings out that part of you. So in other words, his behaviors are then constantly making you feel like you're not good enough or you're a failure or that you're not worthy of love or that you've lost yourself over a period of time. And that's a really difficult place to be at. And essentially what's happening is the environment that you're in is not conducive to your growth as a person. It's effectively keeping you in that lower space, that lower level of consciousness. And that is not healthy at all. Now, on the one hand, we can say, well, we've actually attracted that kind of person into our life by virtue of the emotions and the thoughts that we're actually holding on to, which is what I genuinely believe in in life. However, when we start to become conscious of that and we recognize that in order for us to evolve as people, then we need to shift on the inside, then we recognize that this person is actually not supportive and the ideal environment for me to grow as a person as well. You know, it's really important that when you're with someone that you're not lowering your standards. You're not saying, well, you know, I, you know, he's sometimes nice, but most of the time he's pretty mean. But you know what? I'm really afraid of being alone and I'm really scared that, you know, I'm not going to be able to survive. You know, I get that and I have nothing but compassion for people who are going through that. But we live once on this earth and we've got to make it count. And I'm telling you now that even if you are in this place, you have the capacity to grow, you have the capacity to heal, and you have the capacity to create radical shifts on the inside that can then lead to a high quality relationship on the outside as well. And I know that because I've seen it so many times. And I know when you're in the pain and you're, and you're in the pressure cooker, it feels like it's impossible to sort of get out. But sometimes there are instances where you just have to because otherwise not only are you impacting yourself you're also impacting if you've got children you're impacting them because you're basically saying to them indirectly that even if i'm being treated like absolute crap and even though i'm being dragged down all the time then i'm just going to tolerate that and that is not the right environment in my opinion that you want to create you want to basically be your best stuff. You want to firstly elevate you. And then as you elevate you and you grow, then if that person is not shifting in accordance with the growth that you're having, then it may be a case of saying, all right, it might be time for me to actually leave this situation because it's not healthy for anyone. And that also includes him because it's not actually healthy for him to maintain and retain those patterns that he's running as well. Now, if you've liked this video, make sure you hit that like button below. If you want to get more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. And one thing I really wanted to point out to you here is that, you know, transformation on the inside is such an important part of the journey. 
In fact, it's the most important part of the journey. And as you do that, it really starts to shift all areas of your life, including your marriage as well. And so for that reason, if you are wanting to do more work around the healing of yourself, then I'd encourage you to check out this video above where I talk more about how to heal from infidelity. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.